Hi, Sadhguru. Um, most of my life I've lived in the U.S. I'm here on a vacation and I'm lucky to, you know, be here and… I never knew that people come to Mumbai for vacation <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of blessed to be here actually. Uh, my question to you is that uh, I had a liver transplant a year ago and I, I had some sort of an awakening and I'm fighting the part of being spiritual and at the same time being physical. And I, I don't want to be a Buddha where he left his wife and went away. I like to be with my spouse. I, my, my question to you is that the urge of going to the other side is very, very strong. How do you come to terms with this? That is my question for you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Buddha left his wife when he was twenty-four or twenty-five. <laughs> There are some things that you can't retire from <laughs> Anyway, about… this is something, the clarity has to come in the population. Spiritual process is an inward journey. The geography of your location, whether you are going to live in your home, whether in Mumbai or United States, or you're going to choose a cave somewhere. Anyway, to… to tell you the truth, there are not enough caves in Himalayas for all of you <laughs> So there's no point looking for a cave. <coughs> the home that you live in or the city that you live in or the atmosphere and the people around you are of no consequence for you to turn inward. Because inward journey is essentially about you. This has nothing to do with anybody. You, there are many people who come and tell me, Sadhguru, I want to be spiritual but my wife is so much trouble. <laughs> Especially if it's trouble, it should be easy to become spiritual <laughs> Because at least you know one thing is not working <laughs> You will look for the other. So I'm saying irrespective of whether the atmosphere is sweet or nasty around you, it's got nothing to do. It's got something to do about turning inward. If your idea of spirituality is looking different, dressing different and doing things differently, that is not spiritual process. That is a certain… you know, people may attach themselves to something because they feel that they'll get the guidance there and they may do certain things. Certain norms may be set in certain groups, but essentially spirituality has nothing to do with the atmospheres in which you live. It's got to some… it's got something to do with the atmosphere that you create within yourself.